Your script is often referred to as the stage manager's bible because it contains all the information needed to run the show. So let's begin by looking at how to record and organize this information. Stage managers are pretty evenly split over whether to write their cues in their blocking script or maintain two separate books. The decision usually comes down to the length of the project and the size of the stage management team. On larger projects, which may run months or even years, the PSM may rehearse understudies with one script while the stage manager calls the cues from a separate script. But on smaller projects, or if the team is just one stage manager, it may be simpler to maintain a single book. Lights is an L, sound is an S, projections is slide, and file spots is spot. Some SMs prefer to use the term electrics or elex rather than lights, but lights is generally more popular, especially among younger stage managers. I box my cues, and if I have two cues that should be simultaneous, I will place them on the same line, versus if I have two cues that should appear one right after the other. And if I have a double cue, let's say I have a, a flash of lightning followed by a clap of thunder, I'll place them on the same line, but I'll separate them with a double slash. So lights leading sound in a double cue, go, go. If I'm calling a cue based on text, I will box out the syllable that is my trigger. You should be accurate to within a single syllable. If blocking is my trigger, I'll simply write out that piece of blocking. And if music is the trigger, either I'll write right within the score, or I'll use dance eights, which we'll cover in Act 3. The first is whether the stage manager can effectively call the show. I've seen designers grow frustrated with the stage manager's performance and try to take some of the control and move it over to their own crew members. Now, there's several major drawbacks to this plan. Number one, if the crew is watching the stage for their cues, then they're not looking at their own equipment. The displays that they ought to be consulting during the standby, instead they're missing as they're watching for their cue trigger. And if something were to go wrong, where should their focus be? Number two, subs and replacements. Exactly how much training do you expect a new board op to receive prior to even a planned substitution? And can you trust a new crew member to be able to match a cue to music or to choreography? Number three, the general skill level of crew members.